Is coming here. Welcome to Langriza 3.0 News from the Future. So, right, it's May 2021, and aside from Epsilon and Mu, we have three more characters with new 3C that's gonna be released this month. And on this video, I'll be going through with you guys so stay tuned with me and before we carry on a very great thanks to information shared and provided by the language mobile app Monghuan Moni Chan so you and at the end of the video I will show you guys the rough tag translations of the skill ready here we go so the first new characters we're gonna introduce with new 3C on May will be Kirikaze and his 3C will be Kotetsu no Kyoku-i I mean, correct me if I'm wrong if that's how it should be pronounced So yep, it means the ultimate will of Kotetsu and that is the blade that is carried down from Kirikaze to the heart of and then end up with, and ends, ends with Leon So right, it's both a passive and an active skill For passive before going to battle, if your skill is greater than enemy, the uh, Kirikaze physical damage taken will be reduced by 30% and it works uh, in both enemy turns and during your turn. So it's kind of good. So he's gonna have increased his chance of survival. And then to the physical attack. So active skills, attack a single enemy, deal 1.6 times damage, increase crit and crit damage by 20%. If you bring close combat soldiers, they will attack together. And these skills will not take close combat penalty. So right, let us resummarize again. Number one, 1 1.6 times physical damage. Number two, increase crit and crit damage by 20%. Number three, if you bring close combat soldiers unit, they will attack together. And number four, they will not take close combat immunity when being cast in range. So this is basically a range, uh, two squares or tiles skill range, which I will presume is the ancestor of the skill as slash because if based on language three as the first generations, I'm gonna presume this is something more like a upgrade and first generation of air slash so i gotta say it's very good and strong 1.6 times damage and you increase your crit and crit damage by 20 percent so right um we're gonna see if we can can show you guys a larger screen of the 3c animations Right, so for some reason it will not load in such a bigger screen so I got no choice to show you guys in the smaller screen so bear with me guys okay oh looks cool here man Kirikaze oh yeah Kiwi for the win so right this is his custom animation for himself we're gonna try again Two, one, all right, it will still not load, so we're going to skip it. Next, we were going to be featuring Silver Wolf, so his 3C, so you'll be... Buke Furai Ha, so he's going to be... Marshall Shadow, Wind Thunder Break. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do something like that so okay it's kind of weird for his it's just an active skill there's no passive but I gotta say it's kind of weird so okay I'm gonna read it out okay 3c skill physical attack ignore guard and attack a single enemy directly do 1.4 times damage physical damage before battle obtain Movement speed plus one and skill increment by 30%. Damage taken reduced by 20%. It'll last for two turns. And if crit happen, it'll reduce the CD of the skills by one. So okay, we're gonna resummarize. Number one, ignore guard and attack a single enemy, which is cool. 
Number two, deal 1.4 times damage. Number three, before going to battle, increase his movement speed by plus one. Number four, increase skill by 30%. Number five, damage taken will be reduced by 20%. Okay, everything here will last for two turns. And number six, if crit happens, the cooldown of these skills will be reduced by one. Okay, most of the thing here I have no qualms with it, but I gotta say the only weird things going on is why would you just increase his movement speed just right before you engage into battle? But it's not like a passive to give him a free movement speed. That is kind of weird. I mean, it it will be the purpose if he dies the turn after he attack you know at the end of the turn you'll be stuck at a certain place on enemy terrain and the territory and you know enemy just gonna finish him off so it kind of don't make sense to me <laughs> okay we're gonna see if we can show the animation in full screen five four three two one so all right mm, apologies for some reason the animation is not working when I'm showing in full screen so you guys just have to look at it in the smaller screen so this is his 3C animations kind of cool looks like he's sprinting in the wind through the wind and he's as fast as lightning and then well he's trusting the enemy so it's kind of it just looks looks more like um, Sasuke from Naruto casting his Chidori but instead of holding lightning on his hand, he's bursting of lightning on himself. So right, next we're gonna have finally Bozo. Yep. And his three C will be Konton Kyorin, and that means Chaos Descend. So right, it's a magical AOE. Do five squares or tiles AOE around Bozo. All enemy damage will be taken will be 0.33 times AOE damage and it will cast two random debuff against the enemy. After dealing damage to enemy, the next turn when you cast these skills again, you increase damage by 0.05 times and it will cast an additional follow up of one random debuff against enemy and increase the cooldown of this skill by last one okay so note that the maximum the damage can increase will be 0.1 times which means it will increase the AOE to 0.43 times and it will at max tech it will increase two random debuff effect and increase the cooldown of this skill by two rounds so I'm right, gonna do a re-summarize number one is basically it's gonna be like how Rachel 3 sees light do 0.33 times damage against enemy number two the damage rings is five squares or tiles around Bozo number three when the skill damage on enemy the first time you cast it will do two random debuff on enemy and number three the next time you cast these skills again the damage will be increased by 0.5 0 0.05 times number four you will add an additional debuff to enemy number six you will increase the cooldown of this cube by one turn so number seven the maximum damage the cap limit you will increase will be 0 0.1 times number eight the maximum cap limit of debuff increase will be additional two debuff and number nine the maximum cooldown increment of the skill will be plus two so basically um, to get you guys more a better understanding will be that at the start of the casting there is no CD for the skill so you can just spam the skills then after casting these skills you will give enemy to debuff the damage will be 0 0.33 times then the next turn, uh, then afterwards, the skill cooldown will be one turn. Then afterwards, the next turn you cast the skill again, your damage will become 0 0.38 times. 
and you give three debuff which is a two plus one to enemy and the last time you're gonna cast this skill the cooldown will be two turns and the damage will be kept at a limit of 0.43 times and you will be giving enemy for debuff so it's kind of pretty cool and some players actually has this discussed or debate about the enchantment for bozo so it's either switching to magic to do even more damage because this 3c skills has no cooldown at the initial stage or we can try it out and see if clock will work after the first or second casting of the skill because it will be kept at a limit that there will be a CD for this skill and for coming in here I am a fan of spamming skills so I will be sticking to clock and see if it will prompt and if it does not I will switch to magic so right we have come to the end because the last two characters will be for Epsilon and Mu Mu but actually it's pronounced as Mu but in the term they pronounce as Mu so right we're gonna see if you guys can see the animation at full screen again gonna do 5 second count 5, 4, 3, 1 alright that's not sure I'm gonna try again Sorry, it will not load so again just bear with me and show so you're gonna see this how this animation looks like wow very cool has finally come back beam is emitting out from bozo's eyes and he's gonna say you fool i'm back from retirement <laughs> all is according to plan so right, we have come to the end and I will be skipping Epsilon and Mew because I have been featuring them on the previous video but we'll be just showcasing how the animation will be looking like. So right, basically for Epsilon it's gonna be more like a, well, Strike Freedom is called on Gundam New, he's casting his funnel against enemy and apparently from a spoiler trailer that he's using these skills and he managed to defeat well our wingman here right now as you can see oh vincent yep because vincent is trying to get revenge on him over the death of elusia but apparently he failed i guess and last but not least we have the new lolly mew mew yep she's gonna call herself mew Okay, it's kind of cute when she jump into the sky her eyes just switch into an emoji <laughs> it looks kind of cute so all right gonna showcase the english translations so all right guys remember to like and subscribe my video and you have any things to comment or suggest do leave it down in the comment sections below so this is Kami, we will see you guys on the next video where I will be talking about the upcoming two new exclusive items for Forentisha and Willa. Alright, see you guys, goodbye, remember to subscribe.